Welcome to Alliance U, your source for accounting and financial information. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to see more content as it arrives. Today, we're going to continue talking about audits. Our previous video discussed the four phases in an audit. Now we'll go over six steps in that process. An audit is a formal review of the financial information of an individual, business, or organization. An internal audit is conducted by members or employees of the organization, and an external audit is conducted by an outside group or governing agency. Upon initiating the audit process, the auditor will request documents listed on a preliminary checklist. These documents should include a copy of the prior year audit, bank statements, receipts, ledgers, and other financial information. The auditor will also request administrative documents such as organizational charts, meeting minutes, bylaws, etc. The auditor will review the initial documents and plan out how the audit will be conducted, including identifying tests to perform, bank balances to confirm, and potential sites to visit. This step also includes the risk assessment, where the auditor will assess the financial misstatement risk, internal control risk, and fraud risks based on the information presented in the preliminary documents. Management and key staff are then invited to an opening meeting, during which the scope of the audit is presented by the auditor. This team will determine the significant issues of the audit, how the process will go, the time frame of the audit, and resolve any foreseen issues. Usually this will include conversations with management about the organization's policies. Some of the process that might be discussed include cash handling procedures, how an employee receives access to a company credit card, and how mileage is reimbursed. The auditor takes information gathered from the entrance conference and incorporates it into the final audit plan. Field work is conducted by first interviewing key staff and reviewing policies and procedures with them. The auditor will then test financial transactions or other documentation to check for compliance with those policies. The results of those tests are evaluated to make sure the internal controls are adequate. The auditor will discuss inconsistencies as they arise to give the organization a fair opportunity to respond. Finally, the auditor will draft the report that lays out the significant findings of the audit if any arise. The report should also reveal any mathematical errors that require adjustment, accounting problems such as date of recognition, unauthorized payments, and any other discrepancies detected. The auditor will describe the nature and extent of the findings and recommend solutions to keep them from becoming long-standing or pervasive problems. In the last step, the auditor will request a response to the findings, including a description of management's action plan to address the problems, a projected completion date, and or rebuttals to the findings. At this conference, all parties discuss the report, management responses, and possible preparations that can be made early for future audits. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and share. Have any questions? Leave a comment, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.